than looking up at the top and seeing that one of the good guys is there for us. So with my huge enthusiasm, please welcome to the stage Comptroller Tom and I. once again on Leslie's behalf when she is once again going to be a candidate for public office and you're all going to have a chance yeah, to vote for her once again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, let me just say a couple of things and I'll, and I'll try not to uh, go on for too long. I'll follow Tracy's lead uh, and you've been a wonderful, wonderful crowd. You know, I came here uh, first of all, I, I love spending time with Skyler Democrats, but I really want to come here to say thank you, uh, to let you know I appreciate the hard work that you're doing in a county that could be tough for Democrats. But at this point in the evening, I want to thank you for a different reason. And, and that's really to thank you for the inspiration you give me. How wonderful it has been for me to reconnect with you and with this Democratic family here, to see, as Leslie said, the growth and the evolution of this county committee, to feel the spirit in the room, to hear the wonderful candidates. Uh, it really means so much for me as someone who gets to travel all across the state, come, to come here to this beautiful, beautiful county. To be driving here, I started out in Syracuse and spent some time in Auburn and Geneva and coming here, and seeing as many Metrano signs as I saw those other signs. <laughs> yeah. Even here in Skyler. That made me feel real good. It showed me your work here. Others have said that, you know, the first round of credit has to go to your wonderful county chair. Carolyn Elkins, thank you so much for always giving me the right credit. Always giving me the right smile. I was once a county chair uh, in Nassau County, a little county down in the <laughs> Very, very Republican county uh, at the time. And uh, we had a lot of internal problems as Democrats. And folks said, Tom, we know you love doing uh, public service as a elected official, but we need you to help the party. And, and I served as county chair, not for too long. Uh, it's not an easy job. I always tell the story when I started as county chair, I was six feet five inches tall and had a full head of dark hair. <laughs> <laughs> it is not easy to be the